Hi guys, I just want to show you some tools today that I've been using um, to help with students' written work. Um, a lot of you, when you bring me handwritten work, that's fine. We're practicing for preparing for IELTS and that's fantastic. But when I try to give you feedback, that's not the best way to give you feedback or keep a real history of your development um, and also show common errors that keep coming up across your writing and how to correct them. Um, so I've been transferring uh, a lot of this writing into Google Docs. Um, a lot of you know I'm a fan of Google Docs for a lot of different reasons. There's two things I want to show you today, which is the voice typing uh, and also a tool we've started using here at Box Hill called Read and Write, uh, Text Help Read and Write. And you can get an add-on for Google Chrome that will help you with reading and writing across uh, Google Chrome and it's a great little tool. First of all, I just want to show you uh, a tool called voice typing in uh, Google. So in your docs, you go to tools and voice typing and this little microphone comes up. I'm now just going to read a little part of the writing off this and show you. So you click the microphone and then I'm going to begin to read. The ease of international travel and the spread of various kinds of mass media all over the world have made it more possible than ever for people to know how other people live in other countries, period. New line. Do the advantages of this development outweigh the disadvantages? Question mark. Okay, so that's voice typing. Now you need to speak slowly and clearly and there is a list of punctuation um, if you click the little question mark here and just search punctuation you'll see add punctuation and it will tell you that you can use these phrases to add punctuation. So I used period to add a full stop and I used new line to go to a new line and I used question mark to create the question mark. Um, so you can use this to actually hand write your assignments and then voice, voice them into Google Docs. Uh, another tool that I then use to sort of check over a student's work and read back and make sure that it is actually written the exact same way that the student has written. Um, so, uh, for example, uh, this student has spelt media with an A in it. But when I voice speak media, it spells it correctly. So when I'm checking over and proofreading, I actually use this little read and write tool. And this is available on all computers. Um, as this little purple tool and it's if you add the add-on into Chrome uh, you can just use it to play back what you've written. The ease of international travel and the spread of various kinds of mass media all over the world have made it more possible than ever for people to know how other people live in other countries. Do the advantages of this development outweigh the disadvantages? So it will keep reading there for as long as I let it go for. You can change a lot of the settings here. Um, you can change the speed, whether it just continues to read, whether it translates for you. You can even change the voice. So if you prefer a male voice, you can have a male voice. The ease of international travel and the spread of various kinds of mass. So it's a great little tool for proofreading your assignments back to you. If you've got great listening skills, but really poor writing skills, you can use this tool to be able to use your strength in listening to correct your weakness in writing. So this will start to link together your skills. You can use your speech if you're strong at speech but weak at writing. You can write, speak it and then realise, hold on a minute, I made a grammatical error there or a syntax error like the, the order of the sentence is wrong. And then you can go in and correct it. Or you can read out your whole assignment and it will type it up for you and then you can use this to play it back, listen to it and go, hold on a minute, that particular phrase doesn't sound right. And like I have, 
the Zabeta National. You pause it and you go, I need to change that, and then you can just start again. The Zabeta National travel and the spread of various kinds of map. So those are two tools. So Google Docs with the voice typing uh, and read and write the read and text help read and write um, add-on for Google Chrome, but we also have it on the Institute computers here, um, and it's that little purple puzzle piece with the RW on it. So make sure you use it. Um, it's a great little tool, and I just thought I'd show you how I'm correcting your work and how you can use it for your own assignments. Uh, so that's all from me today. I'll see you soon.